Hello traders and welcome to this Bitcoin technical and order flow analysis. In today's video we will have a look on Bitcoin mainly for the past two days. I was doing some nice live trades with the group, especially from the CPI event which triggered really nice moves to the downside. So we will be covering Bitcoin from this area. I will be showing you tools I was using, so mainly exocharts, trading light, TRDR and trading different, how they acted as a confluence because most of my decisions are made with the order flow. There is very little relying just on price action and technical analysis. This is what most people in the world use, but we want to have competitive advantage over the rest of the market participants. So of course we use order flow. Okay. And now in the second part of the video, we'll have a look on Bitcoin from the higher time frame perspective, because above 48K, you are doing high time frame moves and you need to understand that context okay so you can trade these local ranges for longs and shorts but you know overall trend is still up and you really need to understand where bitcoin might turn around or where it's heading okay so that will be the second part of the video it will be a bit shorter video because we have just uh, two days to cover of bitcoin trading okay so let's let's dive into it as always we will have a look on my discord post because they show you live trading and they also show you the logical structure as market was developing so we will be starting with the CPI event. So we had higher CPI print. Now, news trading on crypto or other assets in the world, I think they are making smaller portions of trading. But if you want to be really good at it, uh, you need to study macro fundamentals. In my group, uh, I also teach people to understand macro. Yes. And uh, they can utilize this knowledge. So on the CPI day, after CPI release, we had a uh, CPI was higher. Okay. And uh, if CPI gets higher, it's very negative for the most assets in the world. Very simple implication. Why? Because the Fed is going to stay, you know, is not going to raise or is not going to decrease rates and it will stay sideways. And uh, a lot of market participants were pricing Fed to be lowering the rates this year and higher inflation is preventing that. So the, the knee jerk, the immediate reaction of the market was going to the downside. I was, you, you know, I was uh, getting into short. I got news within five seconds after release because we use uh, audio service for the news. So we got them, we got them very fast. And, you know, my reaction on Bitcoin was also short, but also, also I was not taking short just on Bitcoin, but also on the ES. So it was double short. But le let's see how this developed. <clears throat> you see, I was uh, reporting this right after the news. Look here, 1430, short the news. It was a deviation because when you don't have deviations on the CPI market usually just whipsaws, but this was massive deviation um, market goes to price. So I got into the short, very clearly defined stop loss for this for this trade. Okay, let's go how we let's see how we develop further. I already hit take profit one because the reaction was really nice. Let's see from the because from the uh, auction market theory, uh, we were we were looking to retest val of the range of the top of the range or point of control and high volume node. If the, while this holds, it can protect my short entry. Yes. You see the down move uh, after the news was just to take local liquidity out of the range we were building. So this is definitely take profit one for you because you already damaged a lot of longs in this range and this was exhaustive price uh, action and you see the volume spike as well. So you had a lot of um, local evidence it's time for take profit one for the scalp let's go further so you see what happened bitcoin actually pumped on the news but it only went into the point of control and high volume node of the range while rest of the world almost every single asset in the world was continued continuing to like bleed down yeah so that i had no reason uh, to like close short fully i was actually adding to my short I thought my th thinking process was Bitcoin in the end will catch up to the markets to the downside. It was such a such a heavy, we call it risk of day. So there is very little because Bitcoin is risk on asset. If the stock market is going up, Bitcoin really loves that. But now it was opposite was happening. Okay. I was clearly saying because the trading is about the odds, 70% chance of more down and 30%. I was leaving just 30% on upside. Yes. You see what happened. Look here, auction market theory at its 
beauty so we went to the upside we reclaimed val but we are rejecting from the high volume more than point of control so stop loss was just above 50k i was adjusting stop loss uh, in the group I was uh, telling because if you reclaim this high volume node, you expect moves above this high into the VAG. Very simple, IMT rules. Okay. So I was reloading fully in this position. Now let's see how it digested, for, uh, how it developed further. So we are seeing uh, other books at the time were really empty. We are pushing very aggressively on the Bitcoin to the upside, but other books need time to repopulate. Yeah? All limit orders needs to show up. We didn't have much. So... If you want to do pullback, you can do it much more easier and with lower volume, okay? So it was like preparing way to the downside if you want, yes. <clears throat> yes, I was saying, not much volume needed to send it lower. Seek support in the previous range. Both point of controls are juicy. So let's go to the exo charts so you see how it developed. So this, this was the... We can merge these two because they are really important and they are going sideways together so this was the cpi event that was of here actually i will reload this so you understand also the range rotations zooming out so cpi getting bearish world is getting bearish on most assets in the world bitcoin is also following the gravity and following those assets you are seeing we are getting bounce from the previous day VAG. yes this is but after after this bounce here we are getting accepted into the previous range VAG and the uh, value area okay so you're opening road to rotate previous range don't have to be rotated fully but you know you just get acceptance that's what matters these daily weekly and monthly rotations are really like key and look at the move to the downside so as you see i was pointing out there is no real support until we hit point of control of this range or overall high volume node so let's go like that now we can uh, put this together so you see, this is the regions. Based on statistics, you don't want to engage with the market if you have no volume, like intraday volume support. This is low volume node. This is these are single prints, fair value gaps. You have all kinds of traders are seeing these inefficiencies. They just call them a different way, and they don't want to engage with the market. Plus, you have the longs on the top of the range who will be fueling move to the downside. So you see what happened. You don't want to engage here. You let market play out. Also, if you are short, you also are patiently in short. You see, I was getting in short uh, on the on the news. I was reloading to full size. Now I'm patiently waiting until we run this node fully and we get closer to the true support, which is high volume node and point of control today, naked point of control. You see market, all eyes in the world were eyeing. Let's get retails of this point of control. But you need to understand this is the high volume node. This is why you don't look exactly at the levels but already high volume node was getting look here from here it already got two touches yes so that's why i always mark on my charts high volume nodes yes they care significance and that's why you get front runs and also you had a lot of trap people here in this in this range so that's why it was pretty hard for the market to go down and these people wanted to go get out but they never get a chance mm, this point of control got front run Let's go further down. Yes, I was just pointing out. So, like, two days back, the New York session was pumping heavily, and now New York session traders are getting right. So, New York uh, gives and New York takes away. <laughs> Let's go further down. So, you see, here was my trade structure. This was the initial short on the news. We've got into, into my entry. Uh, stop loss was not hit. If we look at that, so tight adding at the point of control uh, in high volume node and now trade is developing yes and you see it is aiming where is the where is the short aiming as i was showing you it was letting it run through the sing through the low volume node it was aiming just for the 48200 area yes yes so it hit two take profits this and i was already getting long from these areas as well so you can as a scalper and intraday trader you can be both long and short this is also showing you why trading just one account is inefficient because you had no reason to close this trade fully yes you could you could leave this uh, let run as a day trade after two take profits because oftentimes this last 30 percent 40 percent of the position makes you biggest money when you get like large higher time frame move but you also want to be in long you don't you have no reason to close this short but you also want to get into long so two accounts trading is minimum okay 
we are seeing why we are seeing stability. So it's not because of the high volume of the point of control. Like tech, from technical analysis, without these spot orders, we could be like slicing over this. Yes, but we are getting like real raw support, just coming from big spot market orders. They are preventing moves to the 48k, and we traded them. Okay, so we traded them. They were helping to, uh, you know, put stop stop loss behind 48k, for example, or more tighter stop loss. But we definitely traded this area because spot. Spot is what matters, and Spot was supporting us. And we were, we were fully locked in with the traditional market, so we are getting bounce in the traditional, so it also on the Bitcoin. Let's go further down. So look, look at that. Uh, uh, before, before you know, we started to move massively to the upside, we had local swing failure pattern trade. 0.5% so far. So let me show you that on chart. So let's go over here. The point of your maximum opportunity. That's why you always are around for it. So look at this. We are getting swing failure patterns. So what is our fantastic about swing failure patterns? They offer you the best reward ratio in the world in terms of trading. Your stop loss can be just 0.5%. Look at the potential to the upside absolutely huge so you this trade alone this swing value pattern alone trade can earn your money for five to five to ten bad losing trades that's what builds accounts and that's what builds confidence okay so never underestimate swing value pattern trades and now exo charts was really useful for this trade look at that we are nice for selling at the lows with relative volume increasing as we approach those lows. Similar to the secondary low we put in after a major EPLO. After swing failure pattern, nice global buying showed up. Okay, so we are, look at the volume. So volume is really similar to the to the attempt to the downside, 260 million, 35 million delta. But now, if we, even now, we have a lot more negative delta. So even more for sellers are into the lows and they are unable to break down. Also, the volume is not much larger than this. So this was futile, futile attempt to push price lower. Okay, this was, look at this candle. This was like 333 million, 654 million. These were really big volume spikes to the downside, but now, this was futile attempt, failed, swing failure pattern, a lot of negative delta trapped at, the, at this candle. And after you did swing failure pattern, if you watch exocharts or you just listen to the global order books I do, because I, I listen to largest orders in the world with, uh, with our tool. And globally, after swing failure pattern, there was really, like, really big bit. 80% was just buying globally on OKEX, OKEX buy bit everywhere. So I was I was uh, happily in this swing failure pattern and keeping it run and you know you were you were targeting at least rotation of the range to the upside yes but we saw a lot of strength yes so we were reclaiming and we we initiated you know uh, moves to the upside so in the end this trade played out to be really juicy juicy day trade okay okay just a sec okay. So let's go further. <clears throat> so we had, you had chance, you had chance to be positioned as a scalp and day trade long. High volume node was holding, yes. And you also, this is also a nice confluence. So we were pumping heavily on the previous day. Now market did full delta round trip to the downside. This is also a sign that you, you can stabilize because you, just from the delta, you see you destroyed 100% of the local longs pushing to the upside. So now as you destroyed most people, you know what Bitcoin loves to do when it's destroying uh, most of the people? Reverse, yes, because it, it fulfilled its purpose, yeah? Smart traders fill positions, uh, off you go. From medium time frame perspective, there is still large OE which can be cascaded, but in order to spark it, we need to move below 48k. Do you see this sentence? Absolutely crucial sentence here. While we don't trade below 48k, I don't expect further downside, because the longs from previously are safe. Okay, you trade level by level. Open interest, let's open it. So you see what I mean by that, by that danger, yeah? We were here, okay? Now you really need to lose this range even further because look, look at the open interest buildup, yes, from here. It was increasing like crazy from 180,000 
to almost over 10,000. There's like 500 million new positions. You would need to cascade over 48k and further, so you grab all the liquidity from this from this range and cause much massive moves to the downside. But the longs are protecting. They were protecting here until 48k lost. I don't expect further downside. Very simple. This little sentence and it, it carries so much so much significance. <clears throat> I also said one more trade still highly likely from the high volume note, okay? If we get retest, but we never never took. You see what happened? Alerts are set. I took take profit one and actually went to sleep, so I was waking up into the <laughs> into the beautiful profit. You know, that's also sometimes you interfere with the oppositions, but when you sleep you can interfere. You can put mechanical take profit targets and that's it, you know. It will be good sleep. Seeing last swing for a pattern trade is doing really well. Also take profit to hit. Just beautiful. Okay. Let's go further down. These were discussions while I was sleeping, so can't comment on them. Just focusing on what I do. So you see, swing for a pattern trade hit last take profit while I was sleeping, so I have no long exposure from the intraday perspective. Final take profit was set at the valve of the range. So yes. Swing failure pattern, profits were taken, but now I was, this was mechanical take profit target, so I was not, I was not, uh, you know, expecting further upside, I was just, uh, I was just focusing on the local, local range rotations, and here was the logical step market will start rejecting, rejecting, you see we were rejecting at the, at the first, but in the end we go to the upside, it also, <clears throat> I had new short here, and I got stopped out on, on it after it, because we've got another ETF inflows, it was really, really um, small loss because the short made already nice profits. Yes, to the downside. So let's go further. We are getting pushed a bit of uh, 52k. Yeah, this was the. Or you see other books. Uh, sometimes you can trade the range when the other books are allowing you. So we had some pr pressure from spoofs and from spot. So it was a really nice range we traded. This was really great trade, by the way. This is this is what you can uh, what you can get only from the exo charts. We in the we were crafting local range. We had really nice push to the upside. Uh, very very big longs in this area, and now. As you started ranging, we started rejecting from these people, and in the end, it gave us beautiful, beautiful scalp market. Like uh, when we, when we, when these people closed, it was your final take profit. These trades are really great with the trap traders. This is what you should really learn in the group. Look here, and you, you also had uh, help from the spot order books, preventing you for the upside. So I really liked it because it, you know, it made your invalidation stronger. If you get the protection, look at that. Look, look how this trade developed. Yes. So you are pushing, you are now going to the downside and low longs are pushed, these trapped longs from the lower are pushed and now we are taking profit. And that's also when the market uh, reversed from here to the upside, look here. And it also was the most aggressive market structure and the valve was reclaimed, so you are hitting exactly take profit. That's the thing, you can pump, but you can also recognize conditions when market goes into the local range and you can scalp it. If too many people long the top, market usually tends to put local range into the place and squeeze them. Now you're also getting shorts sucked in, so then shorts will be squeezed in, you rotate the range. You rotate the range based on fuel you have at your disposal. Uh, you know, market wants to be efficient and wants to push out the, you know, the easiest, easiest uh, food on the, on the plate. So Brown was taking some nice trades, uh, explaining them. I, I showed how I traded uh, like live on the pipe bit. You see, uh, this was the this was just what I was showing you. So this was my initial short here with uh, people longing heavily here and getting absorbed. You you see take profit one taken for stop loss and a bit of money. Now we are getting into the trap traders here. Very massive position here, over twenty million. So I'm get I'm adding two positions with uh, limits. Yeah, so it cost me nothing, and now I'm enjoying moves to the downside until we destroy these people. But we also get a chance for the long scalp. Short is getting close. This is how professional scalper works. You can flip positions from short to long and, and vice versa. Uh, you see take profit one. Now we are getting swing failure patterns here. Beautiful. Ta take profit to long scalp is close as you rotated range. Easy peasy. Let's go further. 
<clears throat> I'm also pointing out yesterday, uh, two days back when we had a drop, market also re reset the open interest weighted average, aggregated premium. So, um, you know, a lot of people were leveraged longs and the open, inter open interest was squared out. So it was also showing you, you destroyed majority of people who were too long i would say like too long compared to the spot market yeah market will have these pullbacks based on this uh because it's often overheats from the leverage so we will have these violent pullbacks which are quickly bought back so this is also very worth to watch on the velo velo chart for free let's go further down so we can see what's happening we were having the nice range also to trade here while we were in the in the core long so explaining further um, beautiful bounce from the London session let's go further down this was by the way very very nice very nice thing so we are seeing uh, this is the 51,962 let me show you on the chart in this area okay exactly here we are seeing someone is buying 47 million position on binance look here 47 someone put very massive like very very big order a uh, very big wall and someone was open interest was increasing longs were increasing so very like huge 50 million buyer almost was buying here and he was unable to move price so what does it telling you? It is telling you we can possibly have a top here if this person also gets trapped. Okay, let's go further down. Look here what happened. So we were auctioning a bit above him, but then immediately we, we, went, we went down and this person, this is huge order. Okay, so normal orders on Binance are like few millions. This is huge order and now this order is becoming the most immediate resistance. Exocharts offers you true raw support and resistance. This is the most raw what you can like candles on the trading view are nice, but this is this is true, you know, OG trading. So you see this person is now resisting, it's becoming resistance, and I'm taking short on that. Very tight stop loss just behind the highs. While we trade below this guy, all down we go because market can hunt his liquidity down. This is huge, okay? During other conditions, when you push to the upside, the market is open to the upside, for example, then 50 million order can move market substantially, like 100, 200 dollars plus. But now this guy, he didn't move the price at all. He was absorbed fully with the massive wall. Someone probably took profit from lower, I don't know. But, you know, the absorption here with the open interest increase was what matter. So what happened further? <clears throat> Our traders utilized this. This was like a juicy trade. We also had the help uh, from the traditional markets to go to the downside. And in the end, the, the scalp short was played out really well. This was over here. I was also warning traders before I go before I go to sleep that uh, you don't want to lose 51,000. This is again level by level. You remember I was mentioning at the beginning of the video, you don't want to lose 48K or you cascade lower for the liquidity. Same thing yesterday before I went to sleep. I said I don't want to see lost 41,000 because we don't have we have zero support here plus open interest is, is massively increasing in the in the range of the top look here uh, like that we had huge so this was uh, how much over 10,000 bitcoins open interest increase on the stable coins so if you if you lose 51,000 massive longs here will be forced to sell out or the no support area into the support area which is lower and it never happened market is still pretty strong okay it's still pretty strong but we will discuss the higher time frame view now after i'm done with this yeah so this is this is no support here but we, it was market is still strong it's still uptrending <clears throat> okay let's scroll down So this is right now, uh, this is right now I just woke up, I'm posting nice local range is getting forged with the help of the large spot supply about 52,500, managed to get into short after waking up at 42,400, we take profit one hit just now in front of the buying spot wall. So let me let me show you live development. development. 
So I'm waking up, I'm seeing price is hitting a swing short area as well. And I'm seeing, uh, you know, some trap traders at the top here as well. I'm taking short 42,400 just in these regions, very close. Uh, tied in validation behind this high. Also, our traders were taking this high here as well. This was really big, su big supply. 347 wall. That's uh, that's substantial. So you can uh, you can define stop loss tightly and enjoy it, move to the downside. Now spot markets are trying to supply this area, but you know it's still like no major sign of weakness. So you focus on trading in this local range. Now I was taking a profit here on this short, yes, and I had take profit too as a scalper as we moved here because this is another support area from this from the from the range. Look here, lot of lot of support here built you have high volume not a point of controls here this was also local uh, local liquidity here so i had another uh, take profit to here as a scalper but as a day trader i had only one take profit day trader is more patient it's either getting stopped out yes after rotation of the range or we will and we will push higher or we will continue to the downside time will tell now uh, let me show you the higher time frame view and this is gonna be it i don't want to I like to do long video, but uh, maybe not all people like it. So let's just make it shorter. So let's go to the Bitcoin. I will be also showing you some some of the posts. By the way, you can stop this and read why I expect volatility to pick up on Bitcoin about 50,000. Uh, my, my thesis and the reasoning is happening already, so it's working. So one of the main ideas for me is to definitely look at this area from the perspective of swing failure pattern about 52,147. This is very uh, like key pivotal high. Uh, we rejected as we were heading down for in the bear market. Now we are like we are pushing heavily on the ETF inflows. Of course, we did 30% pump. But if we want to repeat same symmetry as we did uh, before, because look here, it was also big pivotal high here we did swing failure pattern on the bigger time frame and reversed to 40k now this is really good reward ratio area to look for that trade it can happen on higher time frames so that's why i also like to engage with market here as a in this in this local range as a, as a day trader as well day trade make take profit one already so it made uh, earn money for stop loss and earn some extra money if this uh, higher time frame swing plays out and we get a few thousand dollar correction perfect if i get stopped out nothing happens he's not losing trade for me so i'm playing it safe here okay and also there is zero zero evidence it's gonna happen yet because we are still in uptrend but you, you just need to be aware of this higher time frame potentials yes <clears throat> so yeah this is one of the scenario oh, of course if you fail to Swing failure pattern here. Let's go to our, my charts now. Let's go to high time frame. Maybe I can show you one more post. I was doing a bit like a bit before. I also said why we stay ab above 50,393. We are opening uh, too much higher targets outlined in the post above. The main reasoning here, while we stay above 50k and you have those open to massive moves to the upside, is we need to go to higher time frame range. Actually, I will show you it from this. So we go to VA ranges and we will turn on the eight hour time frame. Should be visible. Yes. Like this. So you see, this is the area where we don't have auction market theory. Uh, we don't have any any range. This is like limbo in between the ranges. This was the last range we were trading in. Uh, the VAG was helping us to reject here. We were also chopping around the VAG. Now you don't have any, any range here. So market can actually move to the upside very, very swiftly and fill the volume here. If you face, if you fail swing failure pattern here, you just have open road to 54 to 57K actually. Yes, this is the next range you will be trading. This is inefficiency. Yes, if I turn this off and I turn on the main higher time frame range, you see this is the low volume high time frame node. Why? Look at here. We have very little volume build up here. So you have two scenarios. You can move over this quickly. Yes, I actually three scenarios. You do swing failure pattern of this high, 
which is still uh, we are looking for it. And third scenario is I outlined it here. We can actually start filling the volume here. So you you are pushing into the low volume node, higher time frame, and this is actually we are already here. Yeah. So we can do we can start filling this inefficiency. Market wants to be efficient, and we can start ranging here and fill the volume. Yeah. Maybe we will go a bit higher. This was like a pretty like. A, we have stronger resistances higher. Yes. So this is this should go a bit higher. But yeah, that's what that's what I'm looking here. Market structure long terms. We are st we still trade above this. So let me go to smaller time frame. Look at the beauty of, of this. Let me go to one more time frame. These long term market structures, they will work like a charm. Many people mark them uh, in the world uh, differently or just they have own way. But my way is I think is really, really precise. Look at those flips. That's how you trend strongly. Big reclaim here. Now we are trying to range here. Even even this market is so strong, it's not even letting you to range much in this. I was expecting more like longer range here, more local range here, but we're already uh, pushing away. This is the next one. It is in the inefficiency, but yes, we can still provide some resistance, yes, from the past. So you'll be ready. You see, not much here. <laughs> Yes, another another post. This is also from the uh, market, like from daily. Uh, I mean, from yearly perspective. Yeah, while you stay above forty six thousand, you you have doors open to the all time highs. Yes. Let me show you one thing. This is also if you want to see the the, the like big targets. If ETF uh, demand continues, and we 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 keep the bullish structure, so we go to the balance zone. These are extensions, and we will turn on. So where are you? Should be this folder. Balance on high time frame, yes. And we go to high time frame. This is the main uh, this is the main pool of the bull market. So we we have symmetry of this range. Oops. We have the low of the range, high of the range put here, and once you broke out of this, you are getting the symmetry targets. Now you see what is happening. So we did one to one extension of the Genesis range, which was uh, prerequisite to the bull market. Yes, one to one extension. Look here, it was at 48,000 something. Big, re big rejection, big pullback. Yes, this was also part of the confluence for me to take a big swing trade short here. This was one of the most profitable trades I had like in, in months. It was uh, crazy. I was positioned on all accounts. Now, what is happening? We are, we are breaking away. By the way, do you see the pattern? It, with these ranges, uh, to keep bullish structure momentum intact, you hold a 0 0.5 line easily. So this was like beautiful retest. Now majority of time is spent and supporting us above each 0 0.5 increments. Now this is going to be ultimate target uh, for this year to reach. I mean, actually it can be like in six months, yes, yeah, so pretty fast. If we keep the bullish structure intact. And of course you have the... Uh, like also the big target at, uh, at this five. But yeah, you need to know um, this is the target based on symmetry to the upside. And of course, as you will be so close to the highs, then it's going to be pretty likely you, you might take out the high or you will start. Uh, you take this, you will start ranging rejection. So you watch for that. But this is the ultimate higher time frame target. Yes. While we stay above 48,500. It's road is open. Road is open while there is demand and spot on spot ETFs, which are leading the that this move was made mainly from the spot markets. There is if you compare uh, because we also watch traditional exchanges uh, and their delta in the spot markets. This is truly this is kingdom of the spot markets. You know what is really interesting? The you know if you watch the macro and fundamentals the. Most funds in the world, they actually want to put one to three percent of the Bitcoin into their funds because they they will improve portfolio performance by that move. So right now there is global spoop, scooping of the Bitcoin. So yes, you you know main winners are your longs. Me personally, I still have the 
swing long from the 40k I was adding, adding, adding. So I think I'm somewhere at 43k at the moment because you you also take some profit. You can add. This is the main exposure for me. And then I had the I was showing you the trade from two days back when the CPI bottomed at the swing failure pattern. That was my main intraday long. So you can easily this market is easily giving you opportunities to be beautifully in long in shorts. And demand is still very strong for the Bitcoin. Just remember the scenario I was showing you for this major swing failure pattern. It can play out. It just takes time. But while you trade below 51,200, it can easily play out. Yes, and we we have really uh, big open interest increase still. Like when you go to bigger time frame, so you have a lot of fuel. If market cascades, there will be a lot of people panicking. Yes, 50,000 is now massive support. If you go to exo charts, super simple. 50, uh, let me show you here. It's somewhere here. 50,000 is now very strong support. In case we feel the inefficiency, so you know what you will be looking in case we get pulls to the downside. It's nice Bitcoin is pumping, but uh, any pump can be lost very significant, like pretty fast because there is no support left behind. So just be aware of that. But this scenario is now really important for me. If we fail, if we fail swing failure pattern here, then road is open a few thousand dollars higher. This is no, not much resistance in these regions. I have almost an empty charts here. Okay, so you, you better be prepared for that. Yeah. So I showed you a lot of scenarios. And one more thing. Just want to check. How is the liquidity looking? Yes, and in order to get more downside, like locally, yes, because you now know, I mean, uh, I short, you need to take out this liquidity as well. But it's still market is pretty far away. We will, we will need to wait for the cash open today as well. So I hope this video was useful. I showed you level by level trading, how we utilize all the flow tools. And I really wish you nice trading day, traders. And last thing, also to like predict the market he has a fuel for the downside or upside. Let's go here. Velo chart is really useful. Is it is also for free? Created premium. Yes, yes, yes. So you also watch funding rates, of course, but also you watch the uh, what is leverage doing, and you see also in case you get deeper pullback, you know why. Uh, same way we were getting deeper pullback. Oh, let, let's go to small time frame. This is, yes, it's just too big time frame. Yes, the leverage was very like he in heavy longs compared to spot market. So once we get to the downside, look at that. If we actually get into the neutral, so market resetted itself. That's very healthy. Now again, leverage is heavily involved in the bull markets. The leverage can be involved a lot harder than spot market is nothing new. But when you get when you get the pullback, when you reach lose 51K into the no support and open interest is increasing is increasing like that, you know, you have very big fuel to to reach your next support here. And you will be watching for the again for the neutral rates, neutral aggregated premium or you will be watching for like even negative one you also watch funding rate so that's like it it plays like key role during the bull markets when when we overheat okay so that's small tip before i leave so thank you for watching guys and um, if you are new to trading just join us you will be learning not just technical analysis but the order flow which is five times stronger than technical analysis and it's key to make correct decision in the marketplace every single day. You remove your ob subjective bias, you replace it with the data and objective bias. Thank you guys and bye in the group.